As you know, there is significant controversy in respect of Eskom's refusal to sign any further power purchase agreements under the Department of Energy's internationally acclaimed Renewable Energy IPP Procurement Program. You are going to meet with Eskom and the Minister of Public Enterprises to resolve these issues and chart the way forward. What has been the outcome of this? And what is the Department of Energy and Government policy position regarding renewable energy and the existing renewable energy ministerial determinations and bids? What is the timeline for renewable energy procurement in terms of the renewable energy IPP program bid windows 4 and 5? Um, let's start with the renewable energy IPP or bid window 3.5 and 4 which we have not finalized because I think that's very important. We've met, the teams have been meeting around the clock. Now we've extended the team to include the DG of uh, Treasure. Mm. So there's been quite a lot of work being done because part of the issue for Treasury is the balance sheet for ESCOM. As you know, uh, Treasury have issued guarantees to ESCOM. Now ESCOM has raised concerns that uh, the IPPs, if we sign between the 3.5 and 4, is going to impact negatively on their financials. Hence, we had to bring National Treasure so that they can also look at it because of the impact, so that we don't end up with an, another downgrade because of that. Remember, ESCOM's guarantees and loans are also a weighing in terms of our financials in the country and the city. So that's why they are in on board. So we're waiting for that team to come back to us. Because part of what they've raised, they've raised that the impact in terms of tariffs that have been signed, that they are unsustainable, uh, the tariffs will not be able to be recovered, um, otherwise they'll have to go to NERSA to ask higher tariffs. Now, I'm very concerned about that because it means that's the price of electricity going high for consumers. I want to make sure that when we sign as a department, or I sign as minister, we're creating a sustainable uh, sector. For me, it's not about signing today because I can wake up and sign. And what happens? For me, it's about protecting the sector. I want, because I have a duty to the renewable sector to protect their investment, to ensure that they don't lose. And it's so unfortunate that we find ourselves here. And I was saying to the team, we should have been proactive. We should have made sure that we don't end up here. We should have, before, even issuing the, uh, the, the, the tenders. We should have made sure that everything is in place. We have an agreement with ESCOM for uptake so that when we issue these tenders and we award them, there is no waiting. We just know that actually you shouldn't even have the point of saying we, somebody must sign because you have the agreements up front. You issue the tender, you award the tender, and you move on, you implement. So I think there are lessons that need to be learned out of the whole procurement process, that we shouldn't make those mistakes in the future. We remain committed to protecting the sector because we believe they have a role to play, but we have natural resource, that is wind, that is energy, that we must harvest to our advantage as the country. Many people would love to be at our uh, situation where they don't have the sun for months. We have the sun literally almost every day. We must be able to harvest this natural resource that we have and utilize it to our advantage. Minister, what is the status of the reported legal challenge by City of Cape Town against the Department of Energy and NERSA to establish the right of the city to purchase renewable energy and perhaps also gas power direct from IPPs? And what is the DOE's position in this regard? In the light also of developments in the rooftop solar PV market, is there perhaps a need to move away from the Eskom single buyer model of electricity procurement in South Africa? And should you not allow municipalities to procure power direct from IPPs and even from embedded industrial, commercial, domestic rooftop solar PV generators and prosumers? Um, the case is there. Um, we've been served by the city of Cape Town. Um, we're opposing it. But one of the things I'm saying is that this is a premature case. In terms of uh, intergovernmental, um, re, what is it called? IGA. The Act, IGA. IGA Act. When there's dispute between two spheres of government, it provides for mediation. 
Mayor Tidil has not sought that. So prematurely, they've run to court. It's unfortunate. And I've called for them to pull out of the court and so that we can engage. I am currently in discussion because we, we're looking at a date where we can sit with Saga. Saga has written to me requesting a full discussion on these matters and I've agreed to it. And that's why I'm saying Mia Dilili's action is premature and I'm, I'm really, uh, it's so unfortunate that she rushed to, to court. She wrote to me within a month I was in, in office. I wrote back in response to say there are a number of things. At that time, we had just had a court judgment by um, on nuclear and which made judgment on, on section 34 determination. And I said, I can't determine now until I know the impact of this court judgment on our work. Allow our space to rework on this thing, but also to look in detail on what you are, you are requesting. And then we'll come back to you. So within, even before four months has passed, I mean, I'm just in office, and I was very prompt in responding to her. Now, she didn't even raise to me to say, look, I'm not happy with your response, uh, but therefore let's meet, for example. That was not. The next thing I know out of that, it's a court. I, I, I don't think that's how we should operate between spheres of government. Um, I think there are issues that we should look at as the department, and that's why I've called for this engagement. And I'm really looking forward to an engagement with Saga to look at best ways of imp separating responsibilities. What is it that municipalities can be able to do, where and how, you know? Because remember, part of what we do as the department is we get money from National Treasury and we allocate to municipalities on electricity in terms of generation, in terms of new, new capacity. It's us who do that. Now, if they want to do outside, I've got to look at the whole bigger picture, the fiscus, um, the amount of money that we have, where can we be able to do that so that we don't duplicate responsibilities. But equally, you've got to allow as well certain things to be done by private sector so that we don't you know, in, enter into a space where private sector could be competing. You know. So those are the things that I want us to thresh out between ourselves with Salga and Department of uh, Corporate Government Copter mm -hmm. so that we can finalize that. Once we do that, we'll be able to do it. And I think we still have an opportunity to have this. Uh, we will oppose this uh, court on the basis of it being prematurely um, and not having exhausted internal mechanisms.